everybody. You know, many teachers choose their careers not to become rich, but to enrich students' lives. Now, my next guest has figured out how to do both. Please welcome a kindergarten teacher from Warner Robins, Georgia, Deanna Jump. Hi, Deanna. Well, now I just said you found a way to do both, so tell everybody what you did. Okay, well, um, I have made over a million dollars selling my um, lesson plans and units on a web called Teachers Pay Teachers. <laughs> teachers Pay Teachers? Teachers Pay Teachers, yes. Okay, now, you made lesson plans. They're, less, they're actually units, like what you, teacher resource books that you could go like into Barnes & Noble and buy. I just happened to write them myself and upload them on, um, on the website. So other teachers can buy this? Other teachers can buy lesson this, plans. yes. And they do. Did you hear me say over a million dollars? <laughs> You smiling too. I am. You wanna know how I got started? Yeah, okay. Cool. okay well, well, actually, I've always shared um, what I create with other teachers that I teach with. And so, a few years ago, one of my friends, who's now my best friend, uh, told me about Teachers Pay Teachers, and she said, "You know, we love your stuff. You need to start selling it on on this website." So, um, actually, a coworker told me about it, and I just love her. How much do you make as a teacher a year? Well. I, Right now, I teach in a private school, and it's a pro small private school, so I make about $30,000 a year as a teacher. Wow, okay. Yes, yes. and I do still teach full-time, so. You, you made a million dollars. You still teach full-time? Yes, yes. I love teaching, and that's where my passion is, so um, I can't imagine myself not teaching. Thank you. Well, okay, so what is it? Or why do you think that your lesson plans are so popular? Well, I, one reason is it saves teachers so much time. You used to be a teacher. I watched your show. So. Well, man, man, listen to so, <laughs> that was just a TV show. Oh, I, ooh, I, I didn't know you were nothing. A teacher. Um, no, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> I think it, it saves teachers a lot of time. So, and it's, you know, I try to create um, ideas and activities that are really engaging and motivating for the students so that the students are excited about what they're learning, which, um, you know, if you've got um, students who are excited about what they're learning, it makes your job a lot easier. So. Yeah. Okay, so tell me this. You made a, a million dollars. Yes. You're still teaching. Yes. So what, what, what do you do with the money? Well, I've paid off some bills, which is a big help, but, um, you know, I also think that when you make money, you have a responsibility to do for others and do for your community, so, um, like I said, I teach for a small private school, so there's not a lot of money there, so I've purchased some technology, such as, you know, a couple of smart boards, some projectors for classrooms, um, we've donated two vans for them for their sports teams, and we're in the process of buying a bus now, so, and wow. so, yeah, it's some scholarship money for other uh, so that other wow. students can attend the school. Yes, yes. That's really, really good. Thank you. I like when people get it. You know, you, you get, you make this money uh, off of this, off these other teachers, but you turn yeah. around and you put it right back into helping kids, helping other teachers, helping the school. I wish more people understood there's a principle of success that a guy taught me at a young age that really turned my thinking around. He said, the more people you help become successful, the more successful you become. Exactly. And it took that moment of hearing that to go, wow, this is really not just about me. Mm -hmm. This is about everybody. So I think that's great that you did that. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, we want to say thanks to Deanna. We thought that was a great story. We'll be right back. Coming up next, see what brings